Hey everybody, welcome to the Baby Lock Ovation Surgery Manual. Today what I wanna do is answer a question that I got a couple of times about how to do a quarter inch seam on the ovation. And that's a pretty popular seam allowance, so I thought it sort of warranted its own little video. And I'm just gonna lump in there a secondary question or a part two of that question um, about the M setting on the stitch width. So I wanna start with that first and then we'll get on to sewing those quarter inch seams. The M setting, you can see I've got it set on M right now, the stitch width, it's right there. What the M setting essentially does for you is it has the knife snugged up almost as close as it can get to the needles. And if I move it from M to the shortest or the narrowest width, which is three, or 5.5, depending on the needle you're using, I don't really notice any appreciable difference in anything going on here. So I think M is the width setting that actually is like a tick before it starts to push the blade away from the needles. So you wanna use your M setting in two situations. It, M is mentioned, um, use the M setting for a rolled hem. And it's interesting to note that M also equals 3.5. So when you're doing a rolled hem, use M. The other time you wanna use it is when you're worried about your seam allowance and you're using the stitch guide. So I'm gonna shut the doors now so you can see the stitch guide. When the width is set at M, the stitch guide that's um, adhered to the cutting blade cover is in the exact flush position that I think it needs to be to be accurate for a seam guide. Because notice what happens as I widen my stitch, the stitch guide is gonna move, watch. See how it pushes the stitch guide out as the blade pushes out? So what that's doing is it's actually moving the stitch guide and making those measurements inaccurate. So if you're using the stitch guide, and I've already done a video for this, I'll um, put a link to it below this video if you missed it, but if you're using the stitch guide, you have to be set at M, um, meaning the blade is flush against the machine. It's not popped out at all. All right, so that's one part of getting a quarter inch. Um, let me show you a sample that I stitched before I um, started shooting. You can see here, there's a bottom um, stitch. This stitch is almost 3 eighths of an inch wide when I surged a four thread um, stitch with the width set at the max, 7.5. In your manual for the four thread stitch, it recommends a stitch width between 6.5 and 7.5. If you set it up like that, you're not gonna be able to get a quarter inch seam allowance because um, it's, the stitch itself is wider than a quarter of an inch. In reverse, I put the stitch, stitch width setting on M and I was able to get an exact quarter inch. And the stitch itself is a quarter of an inch. So the next question becomes, how do you feed the fabric in to get that quarter of an inch? And that's what I'm gonna tell you next. Notice that the needle plate on the ovation has a shiny metal part and a matte finish metal part. If you use the edge of the shiny metal part as a guide to feed your, the edge of your fabric in, that's how you're gonna get the quarter inch seam allowance as you stitch along. Okay, so now I'm gonna stick my fabric under there and I'm gonna line it right up, like I said, with the edge of that shiny portion. And then I'm gonna start stitching. My cutting width is set on M. All right, so I'm gonna stitch a little bit and then I wanna stop stitching mid um, seam so you can see you know, the quarter inch where it hasn't been sewn and where it has been sewn just so you can see how accurate this is. So to get the thread off the stitch fingers, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull my, um, I'm gonna pull my fabric to the back and I'm gonna sort of make it, jiggle it off and I'm gonna make a T essentially. I'm gonna put my presser foot back down and I'm gonna uh, chain off. All right, look at that nice transition from on the fabric and off the fabric, that's kind of cool. And also notice I have a perfect quarter inch. So that's how you get a good, a perfect quarter inch seam when you're working with 
both needles or just the O1 needle. So this would probably work for a three thread wide as well. All right, so now the question becomes, how do I get a quarter inch seam if I'm working with just the O2 needle? So I'm doing a three thread narrow, but I still wanna use a quarter inch seam allowance. That stitch is not as wide as a quarter of an inch. And I've already stitched it here, so you can see. Um, if I measure this stitch, it's really um, a, like a generous eighth inch. A cool thing about the stitch plate is if I measure from the shiny part to the actual edge of the needle plate, that's about an eighth of an inch as well. So, because we know that there's an eighth of an inch difference between the tip of the O1 and O2 needle, we know that if we're just using the O2 needle, then we have to move the fabric over that eighth of an inch to compensate for the narrower stitch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out my needle, my O1 needle, and I'm gonna lift my presser foot so the thread is loose, and then I'm just going to clip it here. Um, I'm just gonna put that there for later, and then I'm just gonna take out this thread so nothing gets caught. Okay, and then, you know, if we, um, if we were to consult our instruction, instruction manual on the three thread narrow overlock on page 30, it would say you wanna switch your stitch selector to B. So since I'm making this change, I'm gonna go ahead and move my stitch selector, which is over here. Okay, so here's my stitch selector. It's over here on um, the right. I'm gonna bring it down to B. Um, that's super important. Um, if you try to do a three thread narrow with the A selector, the A selected, it's not gonna stitch as nicely. So the tension's not gonna be great. All right, so now I'm gonna put my fabric underneath the presser foot. And this time I am going to put the fabric so it's even with the edge of the needle plate. All right, so I'm actually going to be cutting some off to get that quarter of an inch. So let's see how that works. Okay, again, let's stop mid-stitch. Okay, so I'm gonna lift up my needle all the way, shimmy it back to get it off the stitch fingers, sort of make a T gonna move these with it. Put that down. This sample is really cool because I can see I have a perfect quarter inch and I can see that I'm cutting off about an eighth. Okay, so remember I said the three thread narrow stitch was about an eighth of an inch wide. I'm cutting off about an eighth of an inch which will then give me a seam that's a quarter inch seam allowance from the edge of the fabric. All right, so that's how you get a quarter inch seam allowance, whether you're using a four thread stitch or a three thread narrow. If you have any questions or comments, you can post them below. If you like the video, click like, so I know that I'm on the right track. Um, if you have questions about anything I've already covered or anything that I haven't covered yet, please you know, let me know because I love it when you guys give me a topic. You know, I'm doing the manual you know, and that gives me plenty of topics too, but I know if someone has a hot issue, that's a fun thing for me to do because I know I'm helping somebody, you know, sort of immediate gratification. So have a great day and I'll see you next time.